aiming with a planted wrist is suboptimal for a variety of reasons. Limited range of motion is the primary culprit, but if you wanted to learn more, check out the video linked in the description. Planting your wrist specifically at the edge of the table can be quite dangerous too, as the edges dig into your tendons and can cause injury over time. Incorporating your arm into your aiming can be quite uncomfortable and difficult at first. We will cover some tips and tricks that can help you get adjusted as soon as possible and have you aiming better than ever. Firstly, try moving your chair in closer so your stomach rests against the edge of the desk. In this position, your forearms can now sit on the desk instead of hovering or being placed on the armrests. The amount of your forearm you keep on the desk is up to you. Anything from around 30% to 100% can work well. Keep in mind though, that the more arm you have on the desk, the higher the friction will be when moving it. Some amount of friction is typically good for control, but in some cases it can make things feel too slow. Experiment with what feels best for you and go from there. There are a few issues you may run into. The armrests on your chair may hit the desk, blocking you from moving in. If possible, adjust them down or simply remove them if you can. Depending on your size, your arms may still rest too far off the desk which isn't comfortable. If your desk doesn't have much depth, your mouse might sit too far forward and reach the other end, or even run into the base of a monitor. There is an awesome trick you can try to change how much of your forearm sits on the desk and for maximizing the use of the space available to you. Angling your approach to the desk will naturally move your arm up. The more drastic the angle, the more your arm moves forward. All you need to do is tilt your monitor, keyboard and chair to slightly change your approach. This can be quite useful for newer players transitioning to arm aiming as you can sit your entire arm on the desk which accelerates the learning process and lets you adjust to it more quickly. We hope you found this helpful and if you have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comments below and we'll catch you in the next one.